Patrick, we have continuing coverage this morning. A new report from NBC describes how the Navy dealt with suicides on Norfolk based USS George Washington. The report says Navy leaders acted with anger and denial while discussing news coverage of the deaths. 10 on your side's Camaria Bray joins us from Naval Station Norfolk with more now from the report. Camaria. Katie and Asia, in 2022, five sailors assigned to the ship died by suicide. In the same year, the Navy did an investigation and that determined that two of those deaths were not related to life on board. But now mental health is at the for forefront for the Navy. Three of the five deaths happened in the span of a week in April 2022. Emails obtained by NBC News show some of the ship's commanders dismissed claims about poor living and working conditions. At least one of them admitted to having a weak grasp of mental health issues plaguing his sailors. The deaths sparked investigations, including a series of reports from 10 on your side. Those deaths also prompted visits from the Navy's most powerful officials and led to the relocation of more than 280 sailors. A Navy spokesperson says nine sailors died by suicide in the six years USS George Washington was docked at the Newport News shipbuilding. Brent Gott is the ship's commanding officer. Last year, Tenor Your Side went on the ship and spoke to him about mental health issues. Even though we've destigmatized uh, mental health challenges, I think we still have a long way to go. And so we're constantly talking about that. It's okay to come forward. It's okay. In fact, it's a sign of strength to ask for help, not a sign of weakness, right? It's okay to be vulnerable and say, hey, I'm just struggling right now. Since the deaths of the Navy says it's increased mental health resources. I'm Kamaria Bray at Naval Station Norfolk, 10 on your side.